But can you talk a little bit about how the success is, I don't know, it's changed you, or I mean, really maybe how it's affected your writing and your writing time and, and, um, and just how you keep producing? Um, when you get published or you get a book deal, at least in my case, um, of course, FSG is a really, really good publisher. Um, and I got really fortunate because I've got two solid editors. And one of the first questions that was asked to me when we were doing the book was, well, where would you like an excerpt from it to be published? Where would you like to try? And I was like, uh, the Missouri Review. I love the Missouri Review. You know, they always like my stuff, but they won't publish it. And Sean, <laughs> I mean, I have all these letters from them. And Sean, Sean McDonald's like, I ain't even think bigger. How about Playboy? And I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck. yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, sure, let's try Playboy. You know, I'm thinking Chuck Politics can publish it. I mean, I, the Hunter S. Thompson, there's a whole list. Jack Carroll. I mean, all, the, all these people have been published in Playboy. And uh, lo and behold, uh, I get an email two or three months down the road, and uh, this is after we went through editing, copy edits. I think I was going through my first pass. And uh, the title in the email said, Naked Ladies. And I was like, what in the hell? It's from Sean. What is he talking about? And he's like, well, I hope you don't have spammers on this. He said, but uh, I'm going to introduce you to your editor, Playboy. They want the first three stories that are in the book. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so. Has that changed me? No, I'm still the same guy. I still get up and still piss in the toilet and all those good things and wash my face and get sleep in my eyes and all that good stuff. But uh, as far as time, when back to the original thing I was getting at, when you get published, they'll, they want to get your name out there so you'll get asked to write different pieces on things. Like I, had write, I wrote a piece and it got published by Grotta. Um, uh, the Playboy thing, of course, helped. Um, then in uh, the Oxford American, they actually contacted me. It was just reaching out to different venues. And I didn't realize how that marketing fell into place. And it keeps you busy. Um, and as far as producing anything, you're probably not going to produce much of anything probably for three or, maybe three or four months. I mean, if you had the schedule I had, you're working a day job. Because um, I had started a novel and never could get back to it. Every time I sit back down to it, I know what the hell it was about. I'm like, now what did that, was I doing? Okay, I'd be looking at notes going, this doesn't make any fucking sense. But that's just part of it. I mean, you just kind of have to, to grin and bear it because you don't know what the next day is going to hold, you know. And uh, one of the things that, you know, I, it, me and Stacia, my agent, had talked about it. She's like, you know, just write the way that you always write and don't worry about what comes next, you know, because they like what you're doing, you know. Don't. Go out there and try to write a commercial book or something like that. You know, just be yourself because that's what you know. That's that's what people want to read. So that's what I've stuck to.